The following scary videos were uploaded on TikTok by Bailey, the caretaker of an allegedly haunted theatre. On his first day of training, theatre staff warned him of strange happenings littered throughout the building, and he was raring to go as soon as he heard it all. He didn't catch much when he first started recording, until a viewer suggested sitting down quietly with his phone. And that night, while looking after the theatre alone, he decided to try it out. And that's when he managed to capture this. Something was leering over the edge of the balcony towards him, but he swears blind he was alone that night. As creepy as it was, this clip doesn't show too much, so he decided to do a little bit more investigation, and while responding to an intruder alarm, he caught something spine-tingling. Someone in here? Hello? Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. Who is it? Oh, shit. Either there's a very musical rubber or there's something spooky lurking around that piano. But Bailey, yet again, swears that he was the only one around. After this, he decided the nighttime activity wasn't enough, so he began searching for activity in daylight. Alright y'all, my heart is racing. Okay, so, I see this sometimes, I've been trying to catch this on camera. Nothing over here, I promise there's nothing over here. I'm not doing anything to manipulate this. Watch. Look. You see that? This is what I'm talking about. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna get another one. Look, I'm not doing anything, I swear. I'm just standing here. I see this all the time. It only happens. Okay, yeah, see? It only happens to this. <gasps> okay, that's the biggest I've ever seen it. Holy shit. Looks like Aladdin left his carpet behind. Bailey was getting more tense as the activity seemed to ramp up. He began to struggle catching specific moments, but he got lucky with this next clip. This is backstage, can't see it very well, but um... What? <gasps> Look, guys, holy shit. I'm turning the lights on, I'm turning the lights on. Oh, shit. A figure seems to be creeping around the backstage doorway. He hears some light footsteps before the stage light shudders on its own. Soon after seeing this apparition, Bailey began to hear singing from the main stage. He turns off the lights and hides in the back in hopes of catching it on camera and what happened next made his hair stand on end. Something is definitely having a sing-song while it thinks it's alone, 
But who or what the hell is it when Bailey is the only one supposed to be looking after the theatre that night? A few comments point out that somebody could be hiding out of sight and wailing into the abyss, but Bailey seems a little bit too invested for that to be the case. Hello? Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You... Phone starts to glitch. Someone behind that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, there's got to be somebody down here. Yo, these lights were off. Hello? Someone in here, seriously. Fuck. Going all the way down to the basement at midnight is a fate worse than death, according to all horror movies but Bailey seems to power on through. That is, until he hears the shower turn on by itself, and as he tries to turn the water off, his phone begins to glitch. He paces back towards the centre of the basement, where he noticed all of the lights had been turned on, but after that, he still had more to come. Check out this short but scary video that Bailey caught on the main stage. See that? Look closely at the doorway, right behind him, just behind the curtain, you can see something sprinting past. What's up y'all, as always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it, just in case we see anything, so here we go. It's uh, 9pm on a Saturday, this is my life, so I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. Two figures, plain as day, stood atop the balcony. Soon they'll be asking Bailey to sing for them. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theatre and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theatre, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Just double checking, but I wanted to film it. Just in case, there's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for... Ghosts <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot, and um, what the fuck? What is that? Hold on, let me get over there. Just 
just before the camera abruptly cuts off, we can see someone or something sizing Bailey up from across the theatre, and they seem to be pushing him further and further towards the edge. But what do you think? Is he safe working there? Do you think he should have googled that theatre before applying for the job? At least after doing his online research, he wouldn't have to worry this much, as long as he had NordVPN. Having NordVPN offers ultimate online security, as your IP address is hidden and your internet traffic is encrypted to a private server. What's more, when the threat protection feature is enabled, without even connecting to a server, it safeguards you from malware, blocks trackers, and more, leaving you completely protected against online sleuths, intruders, targeted ads, thieves, the lot. We have been using NordVPN for years now. It's just not worth the risk. And on top of the security and privacy benefits, you can also access content that isn't available from your corner of the globe. So you can binge watch every Netflix show you want, access different websites, and watch even more terrifying paranormal shows that are only available in certain locations. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash goose pimples today to get the exclusive deal on the two year plan plus one month free. The 30 day money back guarantee also means there's absolutely no risk for you. So what are you waiting for? Go to nordvpn.com forward slash goose pimples or click the link in the description of this video to protect yourself while also supporting our channel. A huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's compilation. Now back to our spook fest. Number 4. Ghost Hunting Gone Wrong there's a reason why you don't see ghost hunters doing a paranormal investigation completely alone at night. Because when you do, this happens. I'm <laughs> 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 바람이야 바람 에이 바람이다 바람이잖아 왜 그래 <웃음> 바람이야 바람 여러분 에이, 바람이다 에이, 하지 말고 바람이야 바람 계세요. 아, 미치겠다. 잠깐만. 아, 두, 어, 어. 
뭔 소리야? 잠깐만 이거 뭐뭐 뭐 날리지 이거? 와 잠깐만. After hearing some strange noises coming from the inside of this allegedly haunted house, D. Doc Mikol decides to wander around for a few minutes. But when he reaches out to the doorknob, the furniture around it begins to shake, as if warning him to leave. But he is very stubborn and decides to continue his paranormal investigation. Will he remain brave enough for what happens next, though? Let's find out. Come what else cabinet door open by itself. And of course, after that, he couldn't stay in the house for another second. So much for wanting to be a solo ghostbuster. Number 3. Antiques Show Sometimes, store security cameras catch the stuff we would rather not know about. Check out this clip, posted by Barnsley Antiques Centre. Either there was something extremely wrong with the air that day, or there was something spooky going on. There's even slow motion footage from a different angle. But it's not just the cabinets taking a beating either. According to the channel, that lamp was pretty heavy, so there's no way it could have fallen on its own, unless someone pushed it but they also claim that the shop was empty that night. And to be honest, who would be inside an antiques shop at four o'clock in the morning? And they just kept catching paranormal activity day after day. According to the owners, that picture frame was fixed onto a brass hook. So what the hell yanked it off? Next, another picture fell off of its rack. Only this time, 
People were around, and their reactions seem pretty genuine. They're all clearly dumbfounded, but they couldn't figure out how the picture fell at all. All they could do was stare blankly at one another. Here's another clip of what happened with some customers in store. At first, it seems like it could just be the breeze, but after all the activity that we've already watched, we can't rule out the paranormal either. And then, as if it couldn't get any worse, the toys got involved. Apparently, the shop owner found Bambi on the floor and thought it was best to rewind the CCTV footage to see what happened. At exactly 2.59am, the toy rocked until it clattered to the ground. But the weirdest was still yet to come. Was this proof of fairies and orbs? Or just proof that the building really needs an extermination team? We'll leave it up to you to decide. Paranormal Believers Indian trail trees have a rich history. Culturally modified, these trees have a distinctive horizontal bent and were used throughout the North American wilderness years ago. The sacred nature of these trees, and the grounds that they inhabit, strike fear into many these days, especially over on the YouTube channel Geek Girls. They believe they may have desecrated one of these trees by carving into it years ago, and that it may be the reason behind the supposed paranormal activity they have been witnessing for years. And when you look into this guy's history, you can see why he's so superstitious. In 2004, I was an embedded tactical trainer. We were looking to set up an Afghan uh, base. My Afghan soldiers were living in tents in Jalalabad. We had these two old Soviet barracks we were looking at remodeling. When we were reviewing the photos, we noticed a whole bunch of orbs and a white shadowy mist. These were not visible to our naked eyes and only showed up after we reviewed our digital photos. Take it as you will, the orbs might just be dust, but it was a bright sunny day and I had no explanation for the shadowy, the ghostly mists that were seen in the camera. The Afghans told me many people died on this ground and uh, they were afraid of going in these buildings. These may be haunted barracks. So naturally, when his daughter started noticing some movement within her toys, he jumped at the chance to conduct a little paranormal investigation. Her head turns ever so slightly, and it's not just the American girl dolls that are moving, Justin Bieber's also performing for the camera. This is a uh, Justin Bieber doll that my daughters like to play with in the bathtub. They make him swim around. I'm not a fan, but my daughters say he moves by himself. I took one video earlier today, and uh, after reviewing it, it actually looked like he was moving. Um, I'm going to try it again from the 
different angle to see if I can get a cl more closer to see what's going on again it's just your normal Justin Bieber plastic Barbie like sort of like Ken doll but um, wearing black underwear okay um, I'm gonna put him down in the same area where my daughter say he moves around and we'll see what happens but I'm gonna try to put this time again you see there's no wires there's no anything just a regular bathtub um, nothing fishy around here um, you know I'm not sure I hate this. this isn't really sometimes it doesn't really focus or focus on, on something I don't know but you can see regular bathroom nothing funky um, I'm gonna do what I did before turn on the water I don't know why but it only happens mostly when the water is running so who knows if it makes a vortex or something crazy who knows all right I'm gonna try to do it close so you can see Justin Bieber um, again there's no wires no nothing nothing funky put the water on and try to get a close-up so this is I don't want to fall in the bathtub in case it's not so much camera I'm putting it down um, okay um, I'm gonna go out here close the door and see what happens Can't really tell if it's moved. Um, kind of does kind of look like it moved. I mean, and not turning off the camera or anything. There's nothing here. So it looks like someone grabbed the doll and slid it across the bathtub. And it seems as though this poltergeist has an affliction with teen heartthrobs. Look what it did with One Direction. Okay, so. We've been having some uh, activity again in the bathroom. Um, something's been moving things even while we're present. Um, this is a tub um, where my daughters take a bath and these are some of their dolls. Um, and not using a Justin Bieber doll. Um, we had some activity even last night. My wife was in the tub. Um, we don't have a tub at her master bath. And uh, um, my wife felt something kind of stroking her hair. But what I'm gonna show you with these dolls I'm gonna set these up over here. This um, entity seems to like playing with uh, um, male dolls more than female dolls because my daughters have Barbies too. So I have One Direction here and it's, you know, Louis, Zane, um, Niall, I don't know all these guys. I guess Harry. Um, so I have them all set up over here and I'm gonna show you that look, there's, there's no strings. Previous Justin Bieber, nobody's in the tub. Um, you see when you pick them up, put them down. Um, other people said, hey, he's got strings, but look, there's no string, no strings. Oops, let me put these back. Um, no strings, no nothing. All right, these guys are back up. Um, so I'm gonna keep it all in the frame. I'm gonna keep them in the frame at all times so you can see there's nothing weird going on. Um, just me here. In my daughter's bathroom with these dolls. That is weird, but um, so we're gonna ask some questions um, and see if anything moves. Is there anybody here with us? No. All right, hold on. Let me get this everything settled so I can get them all. Hold on. Let me let me put this camera down. That was weird. Something just kind of. 
knocked into me um, when I was asking a question. Um, so let me stabilize this thing. And let me keep everything in the frame. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on while I get this. All right, I've washed my thumbs. Here we go. Uh, almost, 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 almost. Bear with me now. Um, just getting this, getting this here. All right, I think I got it. All right, is there anybody here with us? Are there any entities here with us? If you are, uh, all right, they're here. Um, doll's moved. Something's going on here. Um, something's really going on here. Um, are you dead? Are, are you dead? Uh, I guess you are. Uh, all right, so that means yes, if you move the dolls. Did you die in this house? Take that as a uh, no. Did you die near this house? Uh, doll moved. I'll take that as a uh, yes. Um, are you one years old? Nothing. Are you two years old? Nothing. But two years old? Are you two years old? Are you three years old? Or now you're saying you're three years old. Are you saying you're four years old because two plus two? Knock into the dolls again if you're saying you're four years old. Well, let's try a different question. Are you Native American? Are you Native American? Take that as a no. Uh, maybe. Um, were you murdered? Were you murdered? Uh, uh, I'm done here. Looks like this entity wanted to cut question time short. Number one. House of Horrors YouTube channel Ouija Brothers decided to investigate the UK's most haunted abandoned house. Shout out to them for having some of the most genuine paranormal footage on YouTube by the way. It all started a few weeks before while investigating this very house, but they decided to bail after hearing violent hissing echoing throughout the rooms. So, of course, they had to return. Upon entering the house and seeing the absolute shambles it was in, they thought it was a great idea to split up and investigate, and the footage they captured was pretty convincing. Could you give me a word? Could you give me a name? Was that you? No. What the hell was that? You, or No. Could you give me a word? Could you give me a name? Was that you? No. Could you give me a word? Could you give me a name? There's nothing here. Let me just show you quickly. There's nothing in front of me. Chase! What? I've just heard fucking running! You what? I've just heard running! Oh, it's cold here. I don't know if it was a rat, I don't know, I, I, I didn't see anything but I fing heard it. Now, a few seconds ago, I. I um... <laughs> that was a good scream, though. No, because I heard something walking to. Look, he said like something was walking towards me. And then, no word of it, I heard something like. Dun, 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 dun. Which way did it run? If you have to put a guess on it. That way. What? To your right. It's into here. It, it didn't come towards me. Hello? But holy shit, that was loud.
Now, if that was a rat making that noise, it would have had to be a rat in a pair of stilettos. And as if the bumps and bangs weren't enough, the Ghost Tube app started spouting some of the creepiest combinations of words we've ever heard. So, I don't understand where we've got that noise from. Loads of wasps, loads of dead wasps. Love them. I'm glad you've heard what I heard. Weird walking noise, yeah. but it wore a rodent. I couldn't put it down as a rodent. It was, um, it was, it's light, weren't it? It was light, but it was the circumference of a foot. Hello? Anybody here at all? We just need to know, because we just heard walking. Am I dead, father? Am I dead, father? Basement. For fuck's sake. Devil. Man, it's all coming out. There's a devil in the basement. We gotta get down there. Devil and basement. It's just basement. basement. Devil basement. We've gotta go in the basement now. Hearing the words basement devil would intrigue you too. So the guys head down to check it out, but as soon as they step foot down those stairs, they hear something that sends them spiralling. No. Come on, get out of here. Let's get this fucking loud. Hello? Hello? We were upstairs. Yeah. Come on, get out of here. And when they run to investigate, they get this. Oh my nose fucking. Goodbye. Good boy. See you in a bit. How about that? So they thought it was wise to call it a day. Make sure you subscribe to the Ouija Brothers if you want the real deal. But sit tight, because today we bring you a bonus video. Our bonus video was sent over by one of our viewers, Lakey. His son saw something utterly unexplainable in the sky. Check it out. So I'm zooming. Not, not a plane. That is weird. Look, it's being followed by something behind it. That is weird. That is weird. That isn't a plane, is it? No. It's Josh, what's your language? No, it's like something. What is it? That is so odd. Stop talking, it's looking at an engine. Mm. That's weird. Really... Yeah, just don't go near the road. That is not. The floating object looks like a tiny cloud but it seemed to be followed by something shiny. We're no UFO specialists, but this is certainly strange. Was it an orb? A star? A comet? A cloud? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Hiya, uh, easter egg at the end for you. I apologise for my voice in this. I am a little bit sick <laughs> right now. <laughs> I hope it's okay though. <laughs> Searching for something else to scratch that spookfest itch? Well, we have just the video for you. Click here to watch it now. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spookfest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.